Hello and welcome to Tech Deals, how to update your system BIOS in three minutes, or at least as close to three minutes as I can get it. I have here the $800 CyberPower PC that I've previously reviewed on my channel, i5-8400 CPU, 6 cores, 6 threads, 4 GHz turbo clock speed, GTX 1063 gig card, it came with 8 gigs of RAM, it has 16 at the moment because all my systems do, and a variety of other wonderful features. But this video is not about this PC, it is simply the example that's going to be used in this video. Now behind me here I've got the monitor and I'm capturing it full screen so in a minute I'm going to go full screen so I can show you what's going on. We are going to update the system's BIOS for new features, better memory compatibility, Intel microcode updates, Intel management engine updates, and the same thing applies on AMD platforms as well. If you've not updated your system BIOS it is an important thing to do both for system compatibility and features and also security features. If you have a motherboard from the past couple of years, you may not have Spectre and or Meltdown fixes. Windows does have a patch to Meltdown, but Spectre fixes have to be done in the BIOS via CPU microcode updates, and those things are very, very important. The best way to do that is to update your system BIOS. It only takes a couple of minutes. How you do this is going to vary between each manufacturer, however, because what you've got to go to is each manufacturer's website. This system came with an ASRock Z370 Pro 4 motherboard, and I'm going to show you that website right now. Here you can see the ASRock Z370 Pro 4 website. Each one is going to be a little bit different, but they're all going to have some type of support page. Whether you have an ASUS, whether you have a Gigabyte MSI, etc., they're all going to have a support page on the manufacturer's site. They're also going to have a place to download your BIOS. In this case, whoa boy, look at all those BIOSes. Do we have a ton to choose from? Now you might have seen another program running before, CPU-Z. This is a free program you can download. You can see here our i5-8400. That's not the important point. The important point is click on the motherboard tab. This will tell you what motherboard manufacturer and model that you have, and it will tell you what your current BIOS version is. In this case, we're all the way on 1.6, which if you look, you'll see is not even offered on their site anymore. It was pulled for whatever reason. We really shouldn't be running 1.6. They are on currently 3.3. As I said before, you get a lot of updates. One of them is the uh, support for future processors. This system is upgradable to an i9-9900K with the latest BIOS. Intel microcode updates, ME stands for Management Engine, Improved Memory Compatibility. There are a variety, and if you go down here, there's even more features that have been added over time. So if you haven't updated your system BIOS, do so. The Instant Flash update right here will let you download a file to a USB thumb drive to update from the actual BIOS itself. Windows is an actual Windows program you can use to update the BIOS from within Windows. Not all BIOSes let you do this. Some do, some don't. Each manufacturer is a little bit different. What this does is it downloads and updates it in a secure part of ROM. It then requires a reboot and then it will auto update the BIOS. It's convenient because then it means you don't need to mess around with USB flash drives or whatnot. Some BIOSes also let you go into the BIOS and directly download the BIOS without a problem, so that's also an option and very convenient. Coming back over to this page, click the global button, and at this point it gives you a download option. Click on that and it's going to open it up here. Now this is a compressed file. We don't want to run it from within a compressed file. So I'm going to go back to my downloads page and I'm going to right click drag and I'm going to choose extract. You might have 7-zip there if you have 7-zip and solve, but everybody will have extract. And I'm going to choose to extract because it will actually take the files out and put them in their own folder. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to double click on this file and Windows Smart Screen doesn't recognize it. We're going to go ahead and run it anyway. Wait for just a second. Do not exit the process or power off the machine before the firmware update process ends. Sending the image file to firmware for verification, it is now running an update. That took under a minute to write, that's pretty quick. The actual process of updating your BIOS is in fact going to vary depending upon who made the motherboard in your system. Now this is a CyberPower PC, but CyberPower, iBuyPower, Origin, etc. use standard off-the-shelf parts, ASRock, Gigabyte, ASUS, MSI, etc. 
You may have a Dell, Acer, HP. Those are going to have proprietary motherboards and proprietary BIOSes. You'll have to go to those manufacturer websites to download an updated BIOS. At this point, simply click Reboot. This is the other way to update your system BIOS. I actually aborted that before it actually wrote the file, and the reason is I wanted to show you both ways. We are now in the system BIOS, and if you look up here, you'll see that we're on version 1.6 still. Not to worry, I have a USB thumb drive in there with the instant flash version of the file downloaded. I actually did that on the computer that's capturing it over there behind me. And so we're going to use the tool to come over to tabs, and we're going to choose instant flash. Here under the tool page, you could try Internet Flash. It works for some people and it doesn't for others. Different boards have different levels of Internet Flash support. But in this case, we're simply going to choose Instant Flash. And there it is, uh, version 3.3. .3, and we're going to choose the Update button. Do we want to update UFI to version 3.3? .3? Yes, we do. And at this point, it's simply going to run the update. It's actually flashing the BIOS for real this time, so I can only film this once, but it is running through this. It will take a few minutes. Don't power off your system, even if it seems like it sits for a while. Some systems update in just a minute or two. I've seen others that take five minutes or longer. It depends upon the age of your machine, who made it, manufacture, and a variety of other factors. But when this is done, you will be fully updated and ready to go. Programming success, press enter to reboot your system. As the system reboots, remember to go back into your BIOS. We're going to press the delete button here because we want to make sure we turn XMP back on. When you update your BIOS, usually the settings are reset to default. So anything like XMP or any other uh, uh, specific configuration settings for storage may very well have been reset in the process of doing this. So there we go. And we have version 3.3 .3 right there. We will come over to the overclock tweaker, come down to DRAM, load XMP setting number one. And the only other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off the serial port because I don't use it. Press F10, save, and reboot. And that's all there is to it. Hopefully you found this helpful, useful, and informative. Like this video if you like it. Share it with your friends if you love it. Remember to subscribe to my channel with that big, huge red button directly below. Questions, comments, thoughts, feedback, suggestions, that's what the comment section is for. Check the links in the video description. Plenty of links down there, including to my social media, as well as some shopping links to support the channel if you found this useful. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time.